Hello you are welcome to our channel of Skills Learning Network for Excellence Knowledge. We are here for this day for another chemistry lesson. Today we are in chemistry lesson, chemistry practical, and our topic now is qualitative analysis. In the previous lesson we learn about the analysis of zinc chloride. If you are you haven't read with that lesson, subscribe our channel, allow notification for the coming lesson and uh, you will see the all of the lessons the lessons which have been uploaded in this channel so you are welcome today we proceed with the another analysis of another salty sample in qualitative analysis we have different sample so for today we have another salty sample or a compound which is salty sample. Today we, we, we see the analysis of ammonium chloride. We are going to pass through a guide sheet provided by the Nectar and you see the how to write a report after testing, after making analysis by using reagents, by using a procedure, a certain procedure. And then we are going to, to see the direct report how you are supposed to record and uh, you understand that uh, ammonium chloride how you have been to test or to write a report for qualitative analysis this we consider the question for unguided questions or unguided step for that uh, analysis of salty sample which is called the ammonium chloride our sample we say our sample x so let's go to the lesson to see the report i think you'll understand the, our lesson so salt analysis of ammonium chloride our sample we assume that is sample x is unknown so we start with the appearance of solid sample x appearance is white crystalline form as you see in this in the sheet there is different rows, white and crystal. So you are supposed to join those sentences found in observation and found in influences. So you are supposed to write it in that way as you see on your in your front of your your you can say the smartphone or your video. A sample X is white crystal and form and the influence you have to record nitrate, sulfate, chloride of ammonia, sodium, calcium, zinc, and the lead may be present. It means we have joined the influence of white and uh, the influences of crystalline form in one sentence. And you have to record it in that uh, system. Another step you have to test uh, for flame test. And uh, you have to record it in passive voice you see the sentence have been written and they have to record it in that way so the version for flame testing in ammonium chloride no definite color of the on the flame observed it. and the influence in zinc ion and the ammonia may be present another action we see the action of heat we are going to transfer a small amount of solid sample X and we heat on a test tube and then observation you are supposed to observe white sublimate and the colorless gas evolved which turns moist litmus paper from red to blue I have written evolved because the sheet is prepared in always action so you are supposed to write what you have been observed we can say evolves you are supposed to write it evolved because it is you you perform experiment so the influence ammonium ion may be present that is action of heat another action is action of dilute hydrochloric acid a small amount of solid sample x transferred in a test tube followed by dilute hydrochloric acid the observation you have to observe and you observe no gas evolved and you are supposed to write no gas evolved and not get no gas evolves 
as you see in your guided sheet or guided sheet of qualitative analysis guide and the influence you have to record in nitrate sulfate and chloride may be present because our salt sample is ammonium chloride you have to see if they are chloride ion that is action of dilute hydrochloric acid another action is action of concentrated sulfuric acid on a solid sample you have to transfer a small amount of sample x transferred remember that you have to record this experiment sentence in passive ways after performing experiment that is report for your test observation colorless gas with irritating smell evolved and the tanned moist litmus paper from blue to red and formed dense white fume with ammonia gas and chlorine may be present in case of influences. Another step is solubility. Solubility means a small amount of solid sample X transferred in test tube and dissolved in cold water. And the observation is the soluble forming a colorless solution. The influence is sodium, ammonium, nitrate may be present. Another action is action of sodium hydroxide solution that is in case of testy in solution you have to perform experiment as you see the sentence and you have to write it in passive voice or reported reported speech or voice or passive voice yes and the observation will be no precipitate is formed on warming and the colorless gas will be observed or evolved and the turns litmus paper from red to blue and the influence have the code ammonia may be present ammonia ion may be present and then after testing solution you have to see the confirmatory testing confirmatory test for ammonia ion you have to use sodium hydroxide as you see the sentence in that your video the colorless gas of the version the colorless gas evolved and the tan moist litmus paper from red to blue and that in far ammonia confirmed according to that the observation the, the confirmation of chloride ion you use silver nitrate and the nitric acid and the, with the excess ammonia say to a small volume of original sample solution x and the about uh, three drops of dilute nitric acid added followed by three drops of silver nitrate and then excess ammonia solution the observation is white precipitate soluble in excess ammonia solution is uh, formed that is our confirmatory test of chloride ion and uh, you can confirm by using manganese for oxide and the uh, concentrated sulfuric acid when you mix it in a sample solution x observation will be greenish yellow gas evolved which breach moist red litmus paper and the, that is show the confirmation of chloride ion that is our report in general for unguided question and if there is guided questions it means there is step c you can perform and that results in the observed as you have seen or as i have shown you in this video you can use it to understand more and at the conclusion the cations or cation of sample x is ammonium ion and the anion is sample in sample x is chloride ion and the chemical formula is ammonium chloride you see there and the chemical name is ammonium chloride and i add the addition of the important things when will be see the uses of ammonium chloride the properties of ammonium chloride those answer you can give or you can be obtained from the sheet that is chemical properties chemical part properties means that is reactions you can see when you, you mix with the ammonium chloride sample x with the you mix it with the hydrochloric acid that is reaction you can see that is chemical properties and the physical properties you can see when dissolved in water or when you observe that is appearance 
the physical properties, you can say that is is white crystalline form. That is properties. And the other questions can be all obtained from the guided sheet or from your experiment after performing in a systematic procedure. That is our analysis of ammonium chloride and uh, we end up here for this uh, lesson of chemistry practical. Thank you for listening. For more questions, let's give us a comment there down in the above comment and we will answer you for understanding more and more again. Thank you for listening. Subscribe our channel, like this lesson, share with your fellow for more understanding. Thank you.